Hello Libra, it's time for your reading for June of this current year. Yay! This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is a Thunderdome, so this is for you and your other person, cross-watcher if you will. This resonates with you, good deal, if not, don't worry about it, it's really not that big of a deal. Just a card game after all. Alright, group one, as always, we're going to start with you, because it makes sense to go in order, especially when there's only two of you. Knife. It's a nice knife. It's a Gerber. I love this knife. It's like good for anything, really. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what's going on with y'all. We got Nine of Cups reversed. You got a wish and now you're bored with it. Wants and wishes is the five of cups to be able to get over that spilt milk. Those things that didn't work the way you wanted to. Fears or rejections is the princess of wands reverse. The situation is the high priestess. It's secret. Possibly something to do with this since it's up above it. Uh, the empress reverse is the obstacles and challenges coming against you. Ace of wands right here is the catalyst and the final result, the beginning and the ending to all of this, with the beginning theme being your insecurities, mainly dealing with some sort of relationship while someone sits in the background looking it over, someone has it in the palm of their hand, someone's just like, ah, oh, you know? Mm-mm-mm. Group one. It seems like whatever you're keeping a secret is definitely something you're trying to like rid your mind of. It's just hard to do. Like you're afraid everything was in vain or whatever. All right. Nine of Cups reverse. You feel like you got something you wished for and now it's just like, blah, and you just. Not an opportunity you had over. Like, you're just like, ah, oh, yeah, maybe I did this to myself. Maybe I did it to myself. Yeah. Something mean possibly to do with a Leo or a King of Wands energy here. Oh my god, I spilled way more than what I thought I did. A few came up right, though. So we will look at those. Knife, you go up here for a second. I'm always paranoid when I'm by myself. It's not good for me, but it happens. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Weird. Yeah. It's like with this opportunity, it's like someone played games and walked away to go to something else, and now it's like, they have to surrender something or it's time to um, be at a crossroads with it. Like something has come up. It was like this was only for a minute. Weird. Something to do with like a couple somewhere. Someone played games and walked away. Just like I win, bitch. Everybody else is dead. You know? High Priestess, reverse. Someone's keeping their secrets. Someone's keeping their secrets. Closely guarded. Moving with the Wheel of Fortune, possibly to Heartbreak right here. Just because that's where the wheel is. Or they might try to move past the Heartbreak. Try to reach out. Maybe. Five of Cups right here. Someone's got some regrets that they want to get over, but it's like they can't find a way out of it. It's like, I can get over this, but no matter where I turn, it doesn't seem like an escape. Like, you're trying to move and take action, but it's not doing anything for you. Oh, there was a card flipped in here. That shall be the next one. Um... Obstacle and challenge coming against you. There is an empress here. Could be a Taurus or Aries female. I keep thinking it's my husband every time I hear a vehicle, but I know it's not. 
But um, this is a person who's possibly a little cold, a little bitter, isn't really focused on being nurturing anybody else. And there could be a wanting for a love proposal or looking for a reason to stick around. She could be a mother figure who just took her love away. She could be somebody who um, you were once close to or whatever, I guess, too. Almost like a mother figure to you. Or you could be the mother and you're trying to, like, feel a little better. And you want someone to love you. And it's just kind of like... Almost like desperation. Like someone's willing to do whatever in order to get it. Princess of Wands Reverse. It's like someone thinks that their actions right here, immature as they were, led to the situation that where they can't get over it. It's like it's someone being aware of their own actions. Like, you might verbalize a group one that like, no, oh, it's this person's fault or it's that person's fault, but I feel like that's a bad... Like, Libras do that a lot, actually, now I think about it. They always tend to have this habit of blaming other people. That's a big-ass truck. Yeah. Like, that just happens with them. It's just, like, they go out, like, it's, it, 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 I don't, I don't, it's like a, is, it's like when you say one thing, they want to say the opposite. They're, it's, like, different with a Gemini, you know? A Gemini will usually go with you. Libras usually try to say the opposite of what you're saying. Oh, they're just riding away in their little trucks. Ace of Wands, Group 1. You want a new beginning. And this is what started this, and this is what will start the next round of cycles for you until our next reading. Right? What is this Ace of Wands, please? A uh, new beginning with a King of Wands, possibly Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This feels like a, a repeating cycle, too. I don't know why. Um, this person isn't, um... They're not the best at, um... Not being like a child. You know? It, it, it's kind of like... They act like that a lot. Um... The house isn't very happy and someone's too busy, like, worrying about a particular issue or subject when it comes to a relationship. It's like, someone's become the backbone of the family, but nobody appreciates them a little bit. Leaving them feeling like there's nothing they can do that's good enough. And it's keeping them insecure about some other kind of dilemma that they're having with another person. I feel like. All while this one person back here, this silver looking head with a pentacle, is all by themselves. Ooh. Someone might be, be someone might be trying to I said he validate with you before. I don't know why. But it's like you're observing like your own cup as it reflects to other things. Like, you're using your own emotions to look at, like, other people's emotions and try to judge accordingly. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, something has to end here, though. <laughs> this whole, like, um, regretting things and trying to get over them but not being able to get out of it. This whole love proposal, wanting to stick around kind of thing. I don't know if that's good for you. Like, something needs to end so something fresh and new can come in its place. Oh, and... Oh, shit, there's a book in here. Someone doesn't want a new cup. Someone doesn't want to offer their cup. Once again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's definitely water right here significantly. Then we have Cancer and Pisces once again. Um, with the moon right here with illusions. And what is making somebody insecure? It's like, whatever the emotional attachments are, that's the insecurity and it has something to do with finances as well, I feel like. Just leading you to your doom a little bit, and there's got to be a choice made, you know? you got to make a decision. Are you going to keep digging up these onions, going like, and like then crying because you dug them up? Or are you just going to keep them buried and like, 
deal with shit, you know? I'll give you two at the end. Whatever someone is... Okay, this might be an idiot right here. Could be um, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Earth sign, right? It's like this person is... Um, it's like there's a situation where someone just isn't skilled enough to keep something going. Or keep sucking something dry. Like... Seven of Pentacles is like, you've already manipulated this situation to a point where it's like no longer capable of drawing anything else out. You might even be like damaging your own self by investing so much energy into trying to take this out. And it's almost like someone doesn't have the skill to keep doing this anymore. It's like beyond their scope of talents and skills. That's your reading, group one. Let's go to group two. Two seconds. All right, group two. We are on to you. Oh, this might be you, Libra. Um, or it could be a Gemini or Aquarius. Someone just doesn't want to even exercise the energy to fight or start arguments. Or they might just even run away from the battle because they've had enough. See, group two, the high priestess, some secrets, bestowing some truth on thine ass. It's just drenching you like, ah, you know. Um, Ten of Pentacles reverse. There is a lack of closure here. Something just either didn't go as planned or family just is all dysfunctional shit. Um, fears or rejections, four of wands right here. Feeling like a door is closed on you between you and another person. Like, the situation went sour, maybe? A situation is the five of swords. Ooh. Someone got hurt. Someone was betrayed over and over. Subjected to a lot of shit. Like, look at all them dead bodies. You're just uh, another... Victim. Uh. Challenge and obstacle coming against you is the sacred clown. Or the fool, traditionally. Prince of Wands is the catalyst and final result. Someone not taking any passion and doing anything. They're just sitting there kind of like not doing anything. Like no passion towards it. No energy going towards it. The Empress, she was here before for group one, except she was reversed. Glad to see you back, bitch. This could be a, could be Aries, could be Taurus. Definitely female. Um, someone who could be a mother figure or a mother herself. Gentle, kind, all that jazz. And all that jazz. Ow, I just bit my tongue. Hmm. I mean, it's sad. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, hi, Priestess. She's bestowing some wisdom on us. She's coming from the knowledge of the higher high um that almost like she realized her emotions were played with to make her look like a fool and that's why she's not opening up her heart again might be an immature move but it's one based on safety maybe she feels like she was played for a fool and this person really wasn't offering their cup of love Hmm. Interesting. I don't know if that's what she's really got going on in her mind, but that's kind of the gist of it. Uh, she's at a crossroads with it. After gaining, like, what people call, I guess, a download, which is just... Technologies these days but yeah I guess that's the best reference for it understanding that something has to be surrendered that there's a time to yield and like almost like binding your time because he's got the watch right there and he's just waiting for it to go off 
or a certain time. He's not even looking at the clock because he's not even worried about it. He just knows eventually it'll be time. We got the Five of Swords down here. Um, possibly dealing with a Capricorn, the devil right here, right? Someone did some traitorous shit, and then they decided to sneak away. Someone might have did this to the Capricorn, since it's red just like the person on the beach that's getting stabbed and shit. Like, they might, get, might have came back with a vengeance, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, Ten of Pentacles right here? I don't know. That's like really weird. That's a situation. Like a betrayal brought the devil out in somebody? Girl. <laughs> That's some dark ass shit. You guys always have dark ass shit. Not that I don't appreciate it, but it's like, jeez. Okay, that was weak. Ten of Pentacles, right? This is where um, lack of closure, things didn't work out. Someone might be looking for confirmation or information for stuff they are trying to obtain to collect in order to like maybe communicate. Maybe towards this Four of Wands reverse right here in the Fears and Rejections. Hmm. We have the sacred clown, or the fool traditionally. Someone wanted to take a leap of faith. They're trying to like shoot their asteroid, but the but their way their fingers pointed, it's almost to the devil card too. But someone wants to take a leap of faith. Someone wants to take that first step to an adventure. When I was itched, and I know that means something, but I can't remember what the fuck it means. Oh, we got a book. It's a big ass book. Okay. Yeah. Someone doesn't want to offer their love despite the fact that, like, or they don't want a new love opportunity because of past events. Maybe they had a good past and it was just like, yeah, that was a good run, but I don't think I need to do that again. Fuck that. <laughs> um. And someone feels like they've toiled and worked very hard even after they didn't obtain a victory or feel as though, like, people came against them somehow. They've just been working hard to, like, diligently get away with that. This is, like, creepy. <laughs> this is, like... Someone is so insecure that they're deciding to keep up, like, some image of happiness. It's, like, weird, right? Like, it's weird for me just because I'm looking at it this way, but it's, like... I don't know, this whole... This board is making me have, like, weird vibes. It's like this Queen of Swords is just insecure and that's what's... It's like she'll do anything to keep this going. There's blood on her sword. It's just like, you all better perform the way I fuck... Like, you know. <laughs> and it's like she's insecure about it. It's just kind of like, I don't understand why. But this leap of faith is... Like, the obstacle is taking a leap of faith to avoid the tower. Like, just to keep this person, like... Like, someone's already hit the tower, and it could have been this devil person. They've already hit the ground and hit the reality, but it could be this person in your reading group, too, that has not. Reality hasn't hit them yet, and it's like... You're almost thinking that if possibly I try to send out this, like, fireball that I'm developing the, behind me with my mere fingers, I can send it to, like... Maybe the person I ended up hurting? But it's like... Mm, is, is that really a good idea? Is, is that, it's, it, are you really thinking... Uh, like, I hate to be harsh and shit, but it's like, are you really sure that that's going to work and that's not going to, you know... I mean, I know you got the spirit bomb going on, ready to launch in order to avoid the tower, right? But it's also like you kind of brought the devil out in somebody. You know, you kind of brought out, like, their shadow side. Like, Capricorns, if this is a Capricorn, um, are very indulgent with their shadow sides. They know how to work that shit really well. We're always in tuned. 
with our shadow selves. Like, we're never not. We know exactly what the fuck we're doing. We also know other people do, too. So this is like, when we sit here, like... Hmm. I mean, he even looks like a fallen angel, just like Lucifer. It's like really creepy, like, oh my god. Uh, but it's like, I don't know, it's like you don't even... Like, this could be you who got brought out as the devil, too. <clears throat> but it's like, damn, this person's just... Mm. Oh, um, someone's afraid with the Four of Wands, with this door closed between these two people, that there's no way of escaping it. There's no way out of it, and, like, it, it it's done. It's a trap. It, it like there's no way of getting through the forest. Like you're even on the on the path, but you don't even know if the path is the correct one. I don't know, man. I'm just I'm just being honest here, but it's just kind of like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If that's a good idea. Like you know, some things are. Pretty hard to own up to. You know? Callous as well as the final result. Um, yeah, the lack of action and passion is what's causing everything to move forward. Including the heartbreak. Unfortunately. Hmm. Mind you, this doesn't have to be you. This could be someone you're dealing with entirely different, but it's just kind of like, you know, whoever I'm talking to, it's like, mm. The ending theme. Yeah, it's like, mm, there's emotional attachment. There's pressure when it comes to this empress. I think someone's attached to somebody, but it's like torture to actually express your emotion to them. It's, like, really hard to, especially after it seems like everything that happened with this betrayal or whatever, and it's just kind of like, mm hmm Yeah, someone's waiting for an offer to come in. Possibly towards the past. Could be, I mean, it literally could be a Capricorn, but also a Virgo or a Taurus. But it's like... Mm, I don't know, man. It's like... If I could turn back time... It's like you want to go back to make an offer. You know? Ooh. Like you're tortured... Wanting to establish, you want to, like, you, it, like, it, it, okay, it's like you want to go back in time and fix things, right? Because this, per because this earth sign, possibly, definitely Capricorn, I'm just saying, made you absolutely fucking happy. Definitely could be an earth sign, and, and it feels like you wasted this opportunity. And, like, look at her. She's got all these people around her who don't appreciate her. But she's still happy. Like, the two of you are happy together. She's sitting there showing her talents off to people who don't give a fuck. And you're the one person who can't, like, come together to meet with her. And this doesn't even have to be a Capricorn. It doesn't even have to be an Earth sign. But it's like, you're just wasting the opportunity to come back together with this person, I feel like. Knowing that what they have to offer is just wasting on other people. Which is in itself... An extremely creepy thing to value about another person. Just putting that out there. Like, it's, like, honestly extremely weird. Like, why would you value what they... Why would someone worry about what someone does with other people? Like, that's... That's just fucking weird. <laughs> Alright. King of Swords! You might actually go and, like, express some truth, I think. Truth behind this offer. It's almost like you're expecting Earth sign to go back in the past to like fix things or like expecting them to do something for you. I'm not letting that go because it definitely sounds like Earth right there. 
But it's like, you know, it's like you're waiting for this, um... Okay. Yeah, it, like, it, it, it's like you're expecting a love proposal or something to come back to you. Like, you're expecting it? This is like a really creepy person. <laughs> this is a really creepy person. This is like somebody who, um... Like, either you're... No, 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 no. Because this drew out somebody else's dark side. This, like, this is like almost a, what people would call a soul contract. It's like... What you did activated their shadow self, their devil side. And they went out and did whatever. But now it's like you were expecting them to come back or some shit. I don't know why. I have no idea. I just work here. You know? But, yeah. I don't know. But that's your group, too. Sorry if I sound kind of dickish to you. I don't mean to. I'm trying to be polite. Um, thank you all for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email is in the description below, along with my PayPal. I don't charge for my readings, but I take donations and tips. So, whoop, whoop, right there. And I'll also be doing the, um, Shadow of Judgment reading. So stay tuned for that. That'll be next week, and I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.